Hello again, I'm Adam, the Critical Care Paramedic, and today we're going to look at vacuum splits. Right, so once again we've enlisted the help of Boris for this video. This is a vacuum splint. Uh, it's called a vacuum splint because the way it works is by moulding the splint around, as you can see it's quite soft at the minute, by moulding this splint around a fractured limb we can provide a really good level of immobilisation and splinting itself. Um, and one of the benefits of this type of splint as opposed to something like a more rigid box splint um, is it does give you that ability to mould it around those complex and complicated fractures and that's really important for what we do uh, prior to effectively managing and transporting our patients. So the splint's in position, we've got some straps here that I've just put on loosely to secure it. We attach our pump and it extracts the air. As it extracts the air, we can keep an eye on everything, make sure everything's in position. Release the valve. And it's now nice and solid. From this position, we can then tighten these straps if needs be, check for the circulation further down the limb, and then we're ready to go. And this is one of the methods that we can manage fractures in our patients using a vacuum spoon. Okay, thanks for joining us. Um, come and see us next week where we'll be looking how we use our ventilator.